The Philippines is located at the tip of the Coral Triangle, an area with more species of fish and coral than any other marine environment on Earth. Coral reefs are some of the most ecologically and economically valuable ecosystems on our planet. The coastal waters of the Philippines contain a wider range of species of corals, reef fishes, seagrasses, and mangroves than anywhere else in the world. Covering less than 0.1% of the world's ocean, they support over 25% of marine biodiversity and provide a wide range of ecosystem services such as coastal protection, fisheries production, sources of medicine, recreational benefits, and tourism revenues. Millions of Filipinos depend on coral reefs and their associated ecosystems for both food and income. This includes small-scale and subsistence fishers and commercial fishers alike. Similarly, the recreational, educational, and aesthetic values of these coastal ecosystems contribute significantly to the country's tourism sector. Damage to these ecosystems beyond restoration would entail significant adverse consequences for all Filipinos. Extreme degradation of these coastal ecosystems is already apparent. Every time an anchor is dropped on a fragile coral, hundreds of years of growth can be destroyed in seconds. Unsustainable tourism practices are killing off the very thing that people come to see. These boats bring eager tourists to the reef every single day, dropping their anchor multiple times directly on the corals. These metal spikes drag across the ocean floor, digging into the corals, breaking off pieces every single time. Walking and trampling on corals is common practice, which has led to extensive damage in these areas. The barrage from these anchors being dropped on the reef is relentless. Day after day, hundreds of boats are causing damage to the very ecosystem that provides them their livelihood. These unsustainable practices must change. Otherwise, there will be nothing left. The food security and socioeconomic stability in these coastal communities has already been compromised. There is, however, a more sustainable path forward that can safeguard the reef for future generations to come.